The province is investing $20 million into vaccine research right here in Ontario. Premier Doug Ford making that announcement today during his daily COVID-19 briefing. We have to remember that until we find a vaccine for this terrible virus, until we have that vaccine, letting our guard down means potentially exposing millions of our people to the virus. We want to secure proposals that have a high chance of success and that can do so in a very quick fashion. We want to find a vaccine at the soonest possible opportunity, like all of you. Researchers are encouraged to submit proposals through the Ontario Together website. The deadline for submissions is April 24th. Meanwhile, NDP critic Catherine Fife notes that the Ford government cut $25 million from the Health System Research Fund a year ago, saying researchers could have been working on a vaccine much earlier. The province also under fire today for not doing more at two long-term care homes being ravaged by COVID-19. At least 54 residents have died at Eatonville Care Centre in Toronto and Anson Place in Hagersville, leading the workers' union to call on the provincial government to take over operations. If we see issues that are concerned, then we request the uh, institution to deal with that within their own resources. And if we don't, then we can say, OK, we can assist in this way. I find it's not so much of, of taking over, but coming with something to assist, whether it's personal protective equipment, uh, swabs and testing, uh, human health resources, or the alignment of staff and where you put the patients and, and residents to deal with better infection prevention control practices. And as evidence begins to show that emergency measures have been effective in containing the spread of the virus, health officials are still foggy on when life may begin returning to normal. Planning with our public health measures table, looking at what things can we turn the dial back on, at the same time keeping our guard up on a different way to deal with things in the future. Talking with our scientists, talking with our data people, and talking with the business economic side to say how do we get things moving back up with caution. The province is set to release updated COVID-19 projections on Monday. We will